what's up everybody it's VR gamer dude here and tonight you guessed it you can see it on the screen we are going to try to survive yet another VR zombie apocalypse so tonight we're gonna be playing a game called one of the last and man let me tell you been tracking this one since it hit early access back in November and the devs made it a little different than your typical zombie wave shooter. They've, they've kind of patterned it off of the uh, Call of Duty Zombies mode Left 4 Dead model. And uh, in that, there's big expansive maps, you got barriers you can build, there's some puzzle solving aspects, it's also got four player multiplayer. So I said, hell, that's enough to make it a little different than your typical zombie wave shooter and that made me want to check it out. So let's jump in and let's see how long I can survive in one of the last. Okay, here we are in one of the last, and uh, we're just about to get to those riled up, pissed off zombies out there. But before we do, I thought we would take a quick look around the lobby. So in the lobby, you've got all of your information on your controllers and locomotion. You've got the, uh, the developers here giving you a little welcome, some stuff to try, and uh, you know, some listed known bugs that they are still having with the game. We've got our leaderboards back here. Uh, also got a training area where we can cap some zombies before we go out and do it in the real game. So uh, definitely can see a lot of Vive wands here. Now, I, I can tell you that the, the game I believe was originally meant for the HTC Vive. The touch controller implementation has come in over the last couple of updates and it's been a little rough going, still is a little rough going, but uh, they've got it to a workable state now. So props to them for sticking with it. So, and I also kind of like their humor. Let's tutorial the shit out of this or screw it, bring on the dead. So, riot on devs for adding that. Now, another thing uh, you guys uh, might notice, I am smooth locomoting. So, thank you for that. Even though they talk about teleport there, they do have the touchpad locomotion for the touch controller. But, gotta give you props for that but give you a, eh, a little eh, for this it is snap turning so a little strange with a touch controller in order to activate a menu here I do have to press in on the thumbstick and then pull the trigger to activate so it would be really cool to see that just happen when I uh, use my finger and then maybe press a or be able to remap my buttons the way that I want them in the game but we're going to go ahead and select a map to play here. Now, in the game, there are four different maps you can play. They just have added the last stadium here. Haven't checked that one out. Origin Dig, little getting your feet wet. I've already played the game a couple of times, so I think we're going to go ahead and play D-Day plus 356. Oh, it'd be great if I had like some fans blowing on me right now. Okay, so here we are. We have loaded into the map D-Day plus 356. Now, where you get your weapons is you'll walk up to the wall, you'll find the silhouette and just kind of press in on the thumbstick and pull the trigger to buy it. And then now we've got it and we can place it in one of our holsters. And we can come over and we can buy other stuff here. Like, let's go ahead and get a knife. And that's a knife. Oops. And, oh yep, definitely want some grenades. Oh, and a Buddha One statue. Four. One of four. You want to find those. Don't exactly know why just yet. All right, there we go. We'll just go with that. Now, this is blocked off. That's right, we got to go through the gate to start the mission here. Okay, and here's where you'll buy your energy drinks for your stamina. Let's go ahead and get my gun. I hear some zombies. Oh, nice headshot. Headshot. I think you want to get headshots here so you release their souls and they go into the soul canister. And, uh, oh, hey, got one coming from behind. Oh, did you fall down, buddy? You falling and you can't get up? Oh, no, you're never getting up again. I <laughs> love the ragdoll. 
Okay, so we have put some soles in the bucket here. No, three of five, we still need two more. All right, so come on guys, where you at? Now, another thing I thought was interesting is, is that we can actually build. So we can pick up the nail gun here and uh, say we had some zombies coming, we could actually shore this up and make a better barrier here. So, definitely giving us some cool options there. Oh, I guess I can't keep that one. I hear you. Come on, now you guys are coming from all models. I see the gun seems a little off. Oh, hey, y'all breaking down my barricade. You're not cool. Yeah, I saw that two times. <laughs> Love the sound effects. Nice. How do I get it? Ah, I want it. Ah, but we have filled the soul canister and now we can move forward into the map. So definitely like the big expansive maps here. Um, you know, I, I don't know. You know like, like I said in the intro, it is kind of a zombie wave shooter, but it's not at the same time. I don't know how to describe it. Oh, wait. Oh, hey now. Uh-oh. I'm out of bullets. Not cool. Oh, my knife doesn't seem to be doing any damage. Now, that's another thing I haven't seen to find a run button. So it, it's, it would be nice to actually have the ability to sprint a bit. <laughs> they all fall down, that's awesome. But I really need some ammo. <laughs> and a knife that works. Oh, I'm dead. Hey, zombie lady. Hey, you're looking pretty fly there with your fire eyes. I know, right? So, interesting how you can kind of spectate after you're dead and kind of check out the zombie models here. Just pretty damn cool. Y'all get off me, man. Now, one thing I really wish this had is I really wish it had a run button. Because um, I've, I've pressed every known button on the controller and none of them will actually make me run. So, devs, if you're listening, might want to throw that in as an option because the walk speed here is just horridly slow and it is killing me. <sighs> All right, let's get out of here. I love how they just fall down. They're like drunk, uncoordinated zombies. That's great. Uh, I don't need a flare. Now, the maps are big and expansive, 
but they are obviously having me kind of follow a linear path here. There we go. Oh, burn them. Yeah. <laughs> Got some barbecue up in here. Ooh, what do we have here? Oh, I can't get in there. Ah, uh, this must be one of those times where teleport was intended. So... And I can't have blended controls, so we'll just leave that. Oh, nice, new gun. I can hear you guys. Where are you? Oh, oh nice. A little accurate, though. Noise grenade. Oh, I wonder if they're attracted to noise. Kind of like walking dead zombies. Oh, hey, what was that? What the? Um, okay, that sounds bigger. And all of a sudden this turned from like Night of the Living Dead to freaking War of the Planet of the Apes. At least they go down easy and they walk slow. Okay, see, like right there, I have to holster my weapon in order to buy ammo. Definitely don't like that. Liking the environments, though. I really am. Um, the environments in here are nice. Um, a little billboarding on the fog, um, but other than that, it's, it's definitely cool. All right, so what do we got here? Find four Buddhas. Oh, okay, so I can't go any further until I... oh there's a Buddha hey buddy two of four <laughs> two of four it's my Borg designation ah damn it now I gotta find some freaking Buddhas There it is. See you learn if that head up. There's the Buddha. Alright, so let's get back to that gate and see if we have completed this level. Ugh, oh, this walking speed is painfully slow. Painfully. 
Okay, so I think we almost finished D-Day plus 356, but you know, I wanna show you guys a couple of different levels, so I don't know how much longer that was gonna take, so I think we're gonna just jump in and uh, check out the new level they just launched about two or three weeks ago, the last stadium here, so. All right, let's do it. Oh, okay. So here we are. We got some weather going on. All right, the stadium rules are simple. Two shotguns, limited ammo, buy upgrades, and gamble your two guns. Okay, knock zombies over while going for the head. Uh, we don't think you'll last long. Okay, so it looks like this is just a straight survival mode. Oh, it's got an arm pointing on the floor. That's great. Okay. So we got some pipes. Grab one of these pipes. Alright, come on, guys. Oh, what do we got all this stuff back over here? Uh, well, I want to go in there. How do we get in here? Oh, you got to buy your way in. Okay. Oh, crap. They're everywhere. Melee weapon doesn't really seem to do much other than kind of move them around. So I don't know that it's necessarily meant for. for actually taking them down. I think it's just more meant to kind of keep them at bay here and shoot them. <laughs> nice. Oh, whoa. It's like it sprung a leak from the ground there. All right, so another wave down. Let's go ahead and keep on with the shotgun here. Um, um, I see y'all. I see y'all. Over here. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Burn. Fire. Fire. All right. So that took care of that entire wave. That was awesome. So this one's definitely more your typical zombie wave shooter. Um, so, you know, so far in the game, we've seen big expansive maps with, you know, little tiny things like having to find the Buddhas thrown in there, uh, having to build the barriers. So that, that definitely deviated from, you know, what you typically expect out of uh, the zombie wave shooter genre, which is what we're playing right here, which is just kind of defend a small area. <laughs> I'm gonna hand there, buddy. Hey, hey, get down. I love how they just fall over, though. Nice. Hey, you. Ah, get off me. You don't need to start paying out, brother. Ah, 
God, the walk speed in this is so horribly slow, though. Devs, if you fix one thing in this game... Oh, crap, what do we got going on here? We got gorillas. <clears throat> if you fix one thing in this game, fix the walk speed, guys. This this is just... Uh, it's infuriatingly slow. Oh, oh, hey, the pipe doesn't work on these guys. I can't hold them back. I hear you. No, they just walk right through that barrier, too. out this gun. I still can't get into any of these. Oh, I, I guess I can get into this. Ah, and then I didn't have enough money to buy the drink. All right, I think we'll go a couple more rounds of this and then we'll go ahead and call it night. Nice. Yeah, well, actually, hell. Ah, oh, no, shit. I just got cornered. Nice. Ah, ah, he's getting me. Ah, and there we have it. You are dead. Okay, so I think we're going to go ahead and cap the video here, guys. But, you know, one of the last, yes, it is definitely still got some issues with the touch controllers it definitely still has a couple of game breaking bugs but man let me tell you for a two man indie team the environments are great uh, the zombies are hilarious so I'm going to throw a link for it down in the description if you want to give it a shot head to that link and grab a copy for yourself but for me tonight guys that's going to do it this is VR Gamer Dude signing off y'all Peace.